So there's a giraffe hanging out in the middle of Lakeland and an ostrich. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. They are the latest works by an artist who thinks the whole world should be his canvas. Fox 13's Ken Suarez caught up with him today to try and figure out what makes him tick. David Collins is a bit of a renegade, an artist who sees anything and everything as his palette. This is his latest self-expression, a giraffe on this towering oak. It's beautiful. I feel like I'm in Africa. But this is Mun Park. It's perfect for Lakeland, and that it would be a giraffe in a tree is uh, wonderful. On the other side, an ostrich. Collins says if his paintings hung in a local museum, a few hundred people would enjoy them. Here, possibly ten times that. It's about getting your art seen. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's one thing, the joy of doing it. It's the other thing is, is some, you know, you, you want people to see what you did. He's not been paid for any of his surprise public art attacks. Four years ago, Collins wanted to paint a mural on the back of a building he owned. The city said no, and that got him pretty riled up. So he decided to take the town by siege, creating unauthorized art all over. His first strike? was countered immediately. Didn't expect the city the next day to pressure wash it off the uh, uh, sidewalk at 7.30 in the morning. You know, it's like, not only are we gonna not tolerate this, we're not even gonna let the breakfast bunch see this. That just made him even more determined to paint on trees, stumps. He and a team of creative co-conspirators actually wrapped every downtown lamppost with plastic and painted them overnight. People began taking notice, which thrilled the Downtown Development Authority. People come down and it makes them happy and they talk about it. Take pictures and tweet about the free spirit, giving Lakeland an artsy image that no amount of money could buy. In Lakeland, Ken Suarez, Box 13 News.